Uh, with the death toll rising, healthcare professionals want to talk about curing Maryland's drug problem. They're inviting people across the state to join in. WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton with why they say the conver conversation needs to happen and it needs to happen now. Kimberly? And Mary, we're at a high point in Maryland's drug epidemic, and healthcare professionals are stepping in to try and erase the stigma of addiction and recovery. He was a college graduate, a business owner, a younger brother, and a drug addict who tried to get clean. He was 35 when he died of an overdose. Bruce Simmons, Mary Keene's son. She doesn't know how he got hooked, but as a longtime psych nurse, she he knew he needed he medical help. Times. He did go through um, periods of time where he was telling me that he was trying to taper it down and stop it. But the next thing I know, he was doing it all over again. A cycle all too real for so many Maryland families, one that healthcare professionals at the University of Maryland Medical System are determined to break. People need information and they want to be able to talk with professionals in this arena to help heal families, help heal themselves, help heal them, their children. On Wednesday, November 29th, addiction specialists are opening themselves to the public, providing answers on a tough subject. UM will host an addiction discussion in person and online, spurred by a high demand. Everybody knows somebody that's been impacted by this disorder. Dr. Eric Weintraub has tried to treat the state's drug epidemic for years. Now he will take center stage to talk how to curb its all-time high. There's a real stigmatization even within the medical community. So we kind of want to present that addiction is more of a medical issue than a moral failing. And you can attend next week's discussion in person at the University of Maryland Medical Center downtown, or you can log in online. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you so much.